Today we're gonna eat some of the most meaty, some of the most famous dishes that you don't want to miss. That is the mountain of ribs. That is a broth of wonders. Basically the entire cow in a single bowl. The ribs are boiled, they're dunked into the sauce. I'm in the beautiful city of Makassar in Indonesia. In Makassar, this is the chili sauce. <laughs> it's one of those dishes I'm gonna be dreaming about for years. Oh, what a dish. And this city is known for its meat, especially giant beef ribs you have to eat when you come to Makassar. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in the beautiful city of Makassar. And this restaurant is probably the most famous restaurant in all of Makassar. People come to Makassar just to eat here. And I am extremely excited. Okay, this is the spot. Oh, huge, huge tables. Okay, but you come here for the giant beef ribs. Everybody knows you come here for the conro bakar, the grilled, or the, the soup conro, the soup. Inside the legendary grill room. Oh, look at this grill room. Oh, and here are the ribs. This massive vat of the boiling ribs. And then over here, there's just sprawling like mountains of ribs all over the place. This is the soup station, I believe. So this is where these chopping up all the ribs for the plates of soup. Oh, and here are the ribs going on. Oh, oh, they get dunked in that sauce. And then onto the barbecue. and talk about a barbecue room here. Oh man, the smoky aroma of those ribs, boiled, souped, grilled. This is why we came to Makassar, this place right here to get the original taste of the conro originating in Makassar. Oh, this is a, it's a pilgrimage destination. So happy to be here. After they're grilled, and they get just drenched in the sauce, which I think is a peanut sauce. From what I can tell, all of the ribs are boiled in this soup. And then they go onto a big tray where they cool down. And then from there, they only have two dishes that you can order, the grilled or the soup. If you want soup, then they just take the ribs and they pour the soup in it and they sprinkle it with some seasonings, just some coriander, some fried shallots. Then if you want the grilled, they take those boiled ribs, dunk it into the sauce, throw it onto a scorching hot grill, and then all of that sauce just caramelizes, just kind of gets sticky on the grill with the fire. And then after that, that goes onto a plate and then smothered in peanut sauce. So those are the two recipes, the two main dishes, uh, both of which you have to try when you come here. I think we got here at a good time, like about 11 a.m. before the lunch rush comes. That's why they're not too busy, but they're starting to fill up now. I love this big open dining room space and these huge tables. These tables were made for eating ribs. Oh man, it looks so good. It's also served with a soup on the side. Um, okay, I guess let's just go straight into that soup first. Oh man, the ribs. Oh, and they're just fall apart tender. As soon as you pick that up, all the meat's just gonna fall off the bone. Let's try the broth first. First bite in Makassar. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's beefy, garlicky. You taste the flavor of the shallots. A little bit of coriander in there as well. Maybe a bit of black pepper. It's kind of mellow, smooth, but just, I mean, straight up focused on the beef broth. So definitely the first thing to do though. Next, let's pick up the ribs. And literally, they're so tender. You can't even, you can't, actually can't even pick up these bones. I don't even know how they keep it on the bone. The meat just, look at that. It just completely fall off. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. The meat is so tender, really natural, beefy tasting. And even the, the boiled, the soup version, does have a bit of a smokiness to it as well, because I think they cook it over fire. So it's kind of embedded with the smokiness as well. But one thing you can definitely do with the soup is season. You'll definitely want to squeeze in some lime juice. And also add in some sambal to the soup and maybe just straight to that rib. Yes.
Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, with that acidity from the lime juice. That sambal also, it's spicy, it's oily, and it has a little bit of a citrusy, an acidity, I think coming from the chilies themselves. Mm. And then you can keep eating the soup. Oh yeah. Okay, and the other version, the condor bakar, the grilled ribs, which are grilled and then lathered in this thick sauce. Oh, let's just pick up that whole bone and bite. Mm. Okay, the condor bakar, the grilled version, that's where it's at. Oh man, the tenderness. The smokiness, that sauce that they dunk it into before being grilled and then it just caramelizes. I'm sure it has some soy sauce in it. I'm sure it has some sugar in it. So it starts to react with that really hot fire, just bringing out the caramelized flavor. And the meat is ultra tender. And then they just completely submerge it in that peanut sauce, which is sweet and nutty. I mean, full of peanuts. Almost like satay sauce. It kind of is like bone rib satay. Oh man, yes. All the tenderness of that rib meat. Look at that. Oh, this one just falls off the bone. Definitely be good with some sambal drizzled on top. Mm. Mm. The grilled one is awesome. Awesome. I'm gonna add the rest of this rib to the rice. Oh, oh, it ricocheted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then from here, let's season maybe a little lime juice and then of course sambal. Drizzle on some sambal and now you can eat it all with the rice. Oh, tear into that rib. I love how natural the beef taste is. Like it, you could tell it's not, I mean, it's definitely not a processed beef. It's, they keep their beef pretty natural here in Sulawesi. Mm. It goes so well with rice. And actually I have to tell you, con, this, this restaurant, uh, which is called Conro Karibosi. They have a branch in Jakarta. And I actually went to that branch, I think it was almost eight years ago. This restaurant is famous for serving ribs. Oh, this one is Conro Bakar. Yeah, Conro Bakar. Okay. This drumstick rib is so beautiful. I just gotta take a bite out of it immediately. <laughs> Oh, that's insane. But from that moment, I knew it. I said, at some time, I have to come to the original, to the source, to Makassar, to try it. So this is a, a huge moment. I'm very happy to be here, finally to be here, eight years later. It's incredible. It's delicious. This is the, probably the most recognized, one of the most famous, well-known dishes of Sulawesi, especially from Makassar. Mm. Oh yeah. And then I think along with the grilled, the grilled ribs came the soup. Because the ribs are dry, the, the grilled version, they give you soup on the side. Oh, and it's similar, might be the same soup as the, the soup ribs as well. Taste the shallots in there, the coriander, and then it's just meaty. Very meaty. And back over to the, to the soup ribs, and I think the best way to maximize the flavor is to just scoop on the sambal with every bite. I think one of the attractions of these ribs is that this is real, natural, grazing, meaty, beefy, slightly gamey, but not too gamey, but just, yeah, that's the flavor of beef. Terimakasi. Terimakasi. That was an awesome meal and that was so cool. I love that barbecue grill room. That's amazing. Oh, we're off to a, a meaty and delicious start here in Makassar, but we have more meaty dishes still coming. For our next meal in Makassar, we're gonna meet up with Fiki. He is a local Makassar culinary. He is a food expert in Makassar and he also makes social media about the best food, local food in Makassar. So we're on our way to go meet him for the next meal. And this is gonna be another dish that is one of the most famous dishes known and associated with Makassar. Hey man. Man, thank you. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm a fan actually. Thank I'm, you, thank I, you. I was watching your video from 
2016 actually. Thank you, thank you very much. How many years the Choto yes. Makassar? Okay, the, the, the oh. this place about 50 years. 50 years. Wow. Okay. About 50 okay. years for my grandfather. Oh, your, oh, your grandfather started it. Yes. Okay. Is it the uh, ketupat? Ketupat. 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 Okay, ketupat. Okay. And daging? Daging. Okay. Uh, beef onion and this is fried oh onion. the fried fried, fried onion. onion okay fried onion oh look at it. it's so deep in there all oh, that broth all about that broth of the choto she scoops it out i love that spoon connected to a coconut <laughs> and then she <laughs> and then <laughs> i love how they find it hilarious that i'm filming <laughs> <laughs> oh. They kind of nervous when you shoot. Okay, okay. Satu paru daging, satu campur. Satu paru daging, satu campur. Sama campur satu ya? Oh, is that tongue? Uh, tongue. Tongue, nice, okay. So, in total, we use of lungs. Okay, so it's all about the all the organs. Uh, brain. Okay. The tongue, liver, heart, lungs. So, well, all, the organs, all, all the organs. All the organs. organs. Okay. Oh the, br oh, the brains. Oh, plop. <laughs> oh, awesome. They boil everything yeah, together for the broth. Yeah. So even the brains included, oh, yeah. all the innards. They mix up all together for broth and uh, add, they add 40 kinds of spices to it. 40 kinds of spices. Oh, that soup. How long does the soup boil for? Uh, about two hours. It's all about the organs here, and you can get champur, the mix of organs, or you can get some of their famous things like the tongue. And the, Fiki was telling me the, the lungs here are one of the best organs you can get because they, they take special care, know how to make them. They choose the organs, they chop them up into bite-sized pieces, put them into the bowl. Then some leeks go in, some green leeks, and then some fried shallots or fried onions go on top. Then it's all about that broth, and that broth includes something like 40 different spices and herbs plus peanuts. That is the real deal, Choto Makassar. Actually, in Makassar, we have three special local soup. There is Choto, Palubasa, and Sopsodara. One thing that was different was here, the uh, Taucho, which is oh, okay. uh, the sambal here using uh, fermented soybean for oh, the sambal. Okay. So okay. They, they kind of elevate the flavor of the soup. So that's the signature sauce that goes yeah. together with, with only for choto. choto. Oh, only for, for choto. Basa, okay. we using this different sambal for its broth. Okay. Come on. Okay. The hardest game. Before we eat, yes. we mix the broth with our sambal first. Oh, okay. So even before you taste it, yeah. you can mix it? Okay. I guess it. because it's my first time though, I'll taste it, the broth it, it, first it, it, before it. before adding the, the ingredients. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah, thank you. okay, let's taste that. I love how murky that soup is. Mm. Oh, oh, that's rich. Like that is incredible. Oh man. Personally, I can only eat the broth with uh -huh. the rice without the beef. Oh, like, okay. Because the flavor. Because the broth is so good. So good. That broth is amazing. Yes. Okay, you taste the peanuts but it's not overpowering. It's like a mellow peanut flavor. You taste the beef too, but the beef is not too, not too strong. Yeah. It's, uh, I think it's tamed down by all the spices and herbs. It, it's all balanced, like, you know, there, there is a coconut, a fried coconut too in there. So. Oh, there's even fried coconut. Yeah. That's maybe the sweetness that's coming in is yeah, the coconut? Sure. Okay. Peanut and fried coconut make it sweet. So they'll mix up together. That broth is incredible. Oh blown away by the broth. And I love how it's meaty, but I think because of all those herbs and those spices, it's not, it doesn't feel oily. It doesn't kick at all. Like yeah. it had the balance in your yes. mouth. I got to try that. I got to season for spice. I kind of stubborn myself too. <laughs> Was that spicy? Yeah. I'm going to go in for two, two spoons of the sambal. Oh. <laughs> Did it with a squeeze of lime juice. Mix that around. Oh, yeah. There's everything in here. It's like basically the entire cow in a single bowl. <laughs> All the organs All that the you organs. could possibly want. Brain, tongue, lungs, liver, wobbly. Every texture you could want. Okay. Let's try it again now. Okay. Mm. 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 Oh, yes. With the sambal to give it some heat. 
with the lime juice for that acidity. Yeah, it's kind of elevate the taste of it. Mm -hmm. Don't ruin it, don't, don't ruin the basic flavor, but elevate it. You're right, you're right about that. And those organs, they're not rubbery at all, they're just so tender, they melt in your mouth. There is a various uh, texture to it, there is a fluff, there is a tendery meat there, so. And I got a piece of the brain also, which is really creamy. <laughs> really creamy. <laughs> it's so good. First, we add a sambal. Okay, so you add sambal. Uh, if you like spice, so add, adding more is okay. okay. Depending on your choice. Yeah. And then got to squeeze in the lime. lime. And uh, that's it. All right. Uh, there's another way. We eat it with a rice cake here. So we open it like oh, so this. So these are the compressed, yeah, compressed rice? Yeah, they okay. already cut it. So we, mo we put more sambal to it. Like, oh, nice. Like here. Nice move, okay. Ah. Then we mix the broth here. We cut it up a little bit. Ah, okay. Um, watch, then we eat it like this. Okay. Mm. Ketupat? Yeah, is that ketupat. what it's called? Okay, next. And they're sliced diagonally so that you can conveniently pop them open like that. The sambal swipe. Here. Oh god. There we go. And yeah. you can scoop in, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Scoop in. Oh, you can see how compressed that rice is. Very dense. And then go in with the broth. Broth, meat, organs all together. Oh. Mm. Oh, what a dish. Oh man. It's so good. Yeah, it's really good with really the rice. Really good. It's uh, you know, local favorite for lunch. So if you go for the shorter place in the lunch, it's always food. And I think when you travel around other parts of Indonesia, you'll always see signs. This is a dish that has made it across all of Indonesia. Yeah, because, because, you'll see signs, Choto uh, Makassar. Uh, because locals here love to travel to other places. Oh, you okay. You even found it in Singapore. There, there is a Bugis, it's uh -huh. from Sulawesi. Ah, okay. Once you start eating Choto Makassar, <laughs> no other soup will qualify with that much flavor. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what's also cool about me, I mean, this is this is like the main export of Makassar. Yeah, sure. And sure. when I, years ago, when I traveled through other parts of Indonesia, when I went through Jakarta, uh, I, I saw the signs for Choto Makassar. And that, like, sparked my interest to actually come to Makassar also. Yeah, so because, finally, here in Makassar <laughs> to try the real thing again. And I love the way you eat this ketupat. Because our people like, like to put in there but it ruins the ketupat taste. Oh, okay. It's, it gets soggy sometimes. So in order to preserve the texture of the ketupat, yeah, you don't, you don't dunk it all the way. You don't just keep it. it with every bite, and yeah. then just keep keep submerging as you take a bite. Mm. Man. Oh, it's so good. Because if you put in uh, the ketupat too long there, they lost the fragrance of the pandan leaves. Oh. You can also really taste the flavor of the fermented soybeans in that sambal. Ah, it, it has this, yeah, it has this like nutty flavor. To yeah, yeah, yeah. It. A little nutty, a little fermented. Mm. Really, really good. That even enhances. That even there's. I mean, that makes it even more complex. <laughs> mm. Mm. I'm loving every single bite of this. What a what a soup. Ketupat. This is buras. Oh, okay. This one is local for Makassar. Ah, okay, okay. You, you can find ketupat in Japanese. In Makassar, you only find this one. This one is only in Makassar. We Coconut have to try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the other one called Buras? Buras. It's a local from Makassar. Local from Makassar. And the rice in this packet is steamed in banana leaf, but it's also coconut milk. Coconut milk. Coconut milk inside the rice, oh, so that will, that will be even better. Oh yeah, you can see the kind of oiliness. So this one you also hold in your hand and bite it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Not only coconut, but there's also some spice in here. Oh man, this bowl. Oh, I think we have some rumen. Yes. And he said inside of the rice is coconut milk and lots of lemongrass. Yeah. And mainly that, but it tastes like a little bit of nutmeg or, he said no nutmeg, but or cardamom. It almost has a cardamom taste to that. Yeah. But maybe it's not coming from the dried lemongrass. Maybe. Hmm. Oh yeah, rumen is definitely one of those Organs that has a unique kind of gummy texture to it. Mm. 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 Good. I don't want this broth to end. 
Uh, actually, in here you can add more broth. It's free. Really? Yeah. Okay. Refill so, time. so if you if you if you uh, run out the broth, mm -hmm. you still have the remaining beef in there. You can add some. Uh, you can add more broth. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, we got a whole <laughs> another bowl of broth. Yes. I love how they serve it so full to the brim. You can get free. Get free refills on the broth. Loaded up. Got a refill on that broth. <laughs> Mm. Oh man. Again, scooped fresh right out of that, mm. that massive vessel. Oh, that is a sensational broth. Absolutely one of the great beef broths, beef broths on earth. We're at the next place. It's called Palubasa Serigala. They're famous for a dish which is called palubasa, and it's another beef soup. I think it's kind of similar to choto, but different and maybe richer, but I guess we'll find out. But it's extremely popular. Locals love it, and I think everybody from Indonesia that comes to Makassar has to try it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Wow, this place is packed. Traffic jam, this place is so popular. Here we are, man, this place is so popular, yeah. I mean, there creates a traffic jam outside of the restaurant, just from the, just from the restaurant itself, packed in here, almost like a dining hall, it's so big. And immediately as you sit down, they deliver you plates of rice and tea. And I think, okay. This is processed banana okay. and telur. Okay, palubasa, and then you yeah, add the yeah. telur, yeah, telur, you add the yolk inside of it? Okay, yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, nice. Okay, terima kasih. Yeah. I love this place. It's just buzzing. One more thing, you know why I love Makassar so much? Check out the sambal. In most countries and even most places, they would use this pan for soup. But in Makassar, this is the chili sauce. That's the most amount of sambal you'll ever see in one place at your table. As much as I just want to dive head first into the, into the sambal, we got to taste the broth first. Let's just try that broth. You can see all of the coconut that they add in there. Oh, 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 oh. oh wow. Okay. You immediately know why this restaurant is the size of a cafeteria and why there's just a continual stream of people into here. That is breathtaking. The flavor of the toasted coconut. And it's so savory, so salty. I think with the balance of the herbs and the coconut, it's meaty. Oh, it's definitely meaty. Don't get me wrong, it's meaty. But I think the flavor of the toasted coconut kind of balances that meatiness. Man, I can almost not believe it. Oh, and the yolk is just, we got meat. We got the mix of organs. I did get the champur, so it's a mix of organs. There's tongue. There's meat. Doesn't look like there's brain in this one. I guess when you get champur, it's kind of a mix of whatever's there. Let's try one more bite before we season. Mixed with that yolk. Man, the toasted coconut. And they even give you a whole nother bowl of the toasted coconut that you can add in case you want to bump up the coconut. But it's already like extremely coconutty. Okay, we're gonna do lime juice. Look at the way that lime reaction acid turns it white. Sambal. Oh, yes. I think I will go for a little more coconut. And then let's go on to the rice with this next. Everybody eats it with the rice as well. And even the rice is like little small, small portions. coconut, the sambal, the acidity, extra coconut. That is so good. Oh yeah, that sambal. If you breathe that sambal in wrong, that will go to the back of your throat. 
Oh, with rice, it's so good. Because that broth is rich, thick, and just poached the grains of rice. What another stunning dish. Men, makassar. That is a broth of wonders. You want to make your rice kind of soupy. As with a lot of the, the soups in Indonesia, you kind of add a lot of soup broth to your rice, get it nice and soupy, work it in. Oh, and it just goes down so easily. I mean, chota makassar, but also alubasa. This is right up there with the greatest soups on earth. It's one of those dishes I'm gonna be dreaming, dreaming about for years. I would say that compared to choto, this is, I mean, they're both exceptional. This one is a little stronger in taste, not quite such a harmony, but more in your face, stronger, a punch to the taste buds. But they definitely do have some similarities. It might've stemmed from the same root. Um, and they all, they're definitely served. And they're also served in the same way in a small little, little bowl. You don't want a single drop of that broth to go to waste. Mm. I mean, that's one of those dishes that the coconut was so defined that I think if I ever eat toasted coconut like this, this is the dish I'm gonna remember. That's gonna be in my mind. That's just indented in my, Im embedded in my brain for forever. Toasted coconut beef soup. Oh, and I'm dripping, dripping in sweat and so happy. Oh man, again, palubasa. I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. One of the greatest beef soups I've ever had. Unbelievable makassar. What a just food destination. Just wow. We're continuing on with this makassar food tour. We have another dish to eat. Next up on this food tour, we're here to eat another original makassar Sulawesi soup called Soup Saudara. This is the place right here one of the original spots, and they're open 24 hours a day. Yeah, you can get your loaded, meaty soup 24 hours a day, it never closes. So you can order it with the ribs, and then the soup is about to be scooped on. Oh, wow. Oh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, that spoon. Okay, this is the conro. Some leeks, some fried shallots. Okay. Oh, terimakasi. Okay, so it gets. Oh, so this is also a mix of organs, but this one comes with noodles on the bottom as well. Oh, wow, all the organs are inside that soup. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, and 24 hours ready to go rice in a giant basket. Here we go, soup saudara. Two different versions, but it's the same exact soup. You can either choose the rib, the conro. Oh, I mean, we've already had some conro, uh, but this is the rib with some more meat and then they scoop on the, the broth. And the other version is with the organs with noodles. That same choto kind of bowl with the, the tea saucer on the bottom. So we, again, we just gotta taste that broth first to, to taste the difference. And from the aroma, you can really smell, it smells really nutty. This one is probably the thickest of all the soups we've had too. Mmm. That is thick. That is meaty. Oh man, peanuts. I'm sure there's a huge amount of spices in there as well. Galangal nutmeg. These are some of the similar spices that are in most of these soups, it's like cinnamon and nutmeg and galangal and ginger and garlic and shallots and chilies. And I mean, the list is long. This one is kind of, it's more mellow than it looks. It's more like meaty, um, nutty, and just a hint of spice fragrance, but not overpowering at all. And I'm wondering also what makes it so thick. I don't know if it's the blood maybe? that's been cooked down to make it so thick like that because it's so rich and dark in color. Oh man, another delicious, like extremely thick, meaty soup. And this one has a totally different flavor from everything we've tried so far. It's almost gravy-ish. Okay, we need to season. Lime juice. They do not joke around with sambal in Makassar. Okay, let's go onto the rice. 
just all the mix of lungs and liver and everything in here. Yeah, this one is so thick. Rather than a soup, it acts more like a sauce. So thick and hearty. Oh yeah, that sambal is awesome. Spicy, sour, fragrant, oily. Mm. Makassar, they're masters of cooking the organs. They know how to prepare them, how to clean them, how to cook them. So they're at the like best flavor possibility. And next up, let's move into the rib. It is uh, the same soup. I think I'll just go ahead and put some of this onto my rice. Let's season on top of the bone. Sambal is a must. Oh yes. Squeeze of lime juice right on top. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that meat is tender. Um, not a lot of meat. I think actually the meat has been kind of cut, chopped off and, and added to the bowl. So it's mostly like you try to suck on those bones, get all the flavor off those bones and get all the little meat crevices off those bones as well. Mm. Oh man. Juicy, nutty, tasty. I mean, meat, ribs, and peanuts are also very common uh, throughout the dishes here in Makassar. Peanuts are, are something used in so many different recipes. Yeah, there's some kind of a, a meatball, or if it's almost tofu, there's a ball. I'm still not totally sure what it is. It kind of tastes like beans or nuts into a fried kind of batter ball that's kind of just soaking and absorbing, bobbing around in the soup. It almost tastes like lentils. Definitely could use some, some sambal on it. Mm. Mm. And let me tell you, they don't joke around with their sambal in Makassar. Yeah. It is fiery, like real deal. Just you taste the flavor of those chili peppers. Vibrant. Mm. I would say that as you keep on eating the soup, it becomes more and more addictive. It's one of those flavors that kind of grows on you. At first, it tastes a little mellow, but then as you keep on tasting it, you taste like the, the creaminess of it, the milkiness of it, the, the nuttiness of it. Oh man. And I mean, we'd had three different soups three legendary famous soups of Makassar, all making use of organs, making use of bones and ribs, plus the Kondro Bakar, the grilled ribs. It's been all about the meat, and it's given me a totally new perspective on the meat-based dishes of Makassar. But people have been extremely friendly. Makassar is also, along with meat dishes, they're also famous for seafood. So then tomorrow we're gonna go on a totally opposite, non-meat, but total complete seafood tour. So make sure you check out that video as well. I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe now for lots more food and travel videos. Goodbye from Makassar, and I'll see you on the next video. Okay.